A worker at a Plano daycare was arrested, charged with child endangerment, following a video showing a child being thrown. Police said Jasmine Torres is the woman seen in that video. Now it's a viral video, of course, throwing the 18-month boy down. Hundreds of thousands of people have seen that. This video right here you're watching. The boy's family spoke with Fox 4, and they say they're thankful their little boy wasn't serious, seriously hurt. Oh. We're learning that daycare has had problems in the past. Fox 4's Natalie Solis has our story. <gasps> It's a blanket. It's not a mattress or a cot by any means. Caitlin Gilmore showing the thin mat her 18-month-old son Oliver landed on, flung down Friday afternoon by a caregiver in the now viral video from the children's courtyard of Plano. Police say that caregiver is 22-year-old Jasmine Torres. I was horrified. He was handled very roughly for an 18-month-old. Despite how violent the incident appears, Gilmore says Oliver was checked by doctors and thankfully was not injured. We felt that we'd done everything we can to keep him safe and for that to still happen to him, it's heartbreaking. According to state child care licensing records, the Children's Courtyard of Plano has had nine high-risk violations since 2015. That year, a child was injured while a maintenance crew was working. In January, a child was left alone on the playground for up to 29 minutes and the most recent violation in February. The state says a caregiver used inappropriate methods to discipline a child. My heart dropped. Rachel Ewerts filed that complaint after watching the live feed and seeing another caregiver, not the ones in the latest viral video, roughly handle a girl in her son's class. And I still get teary eyed every time I think about it because I don't know what happened to my son. In Oliver's case, Plano police also want to see what happened before and after the incident. The video typically doesn't lie. That's the one thing that we're in the process trying to right now to get on this situation is, is get the full video. We're very grateful for the Plano Police Department for acting so quickly. The Gilmores hope all parents can learn from their experience. I want everyone to know, don't let your guard down. I mean, always be watching. If you have the cameras, check in on them. Natalie Solis, Fox 4 News. The Children's Courtyard in Plano released a statement saying it's cooperating with the investigation and that Torres no longer works there. A spokesperson for the Department of Family and Protective Services says it's investigating this latest incident as well, and that could take up to 30 days.